Welcome. My name is Trisha Morris, and I would like to welcome you to my channel, Mathematics Simplex, where you will be able to view videos you might find difficult in your class. Please don't forget to subscribe, press that button, and also like my video. So I'll be continuing with division of polynomial but by dividing then factorizing so say for example we have x cube plus 4x square plus x minus 6 divided by x plus 2. First, we're going to have x plus 2 equal 0. Carry this over the equal sign. So x is equal to negative 2. So we're going to have the negative 2 on the outside. Then the coefficient of x cubed is 1. The coefficient of x squared is 4. The coefficient of x is 1, and my constant is negative 6. So we're going to carry on the 1, then 1 times negative 2, negative 2, add to get 2, 2 times negative 2, negative 4, then we add to get negative 3, negative 3 times negative 2, that's positive 6. So my remainder here is zero. So once you get zero, it means it is a factor. And once it is a factor, we can go ahead and factorize the quadratic. So remember, these are coefficients. So the coefficient of x squared is one. So it is the same as writing it as x squared alone. Then we have plus 2x, then minus 3. So the 1 is the coefficient of x squared, the 2 is the coefficient of x, and the negative 3 is a constant. Now we need to factorize this. So we need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 3, but add to give me positive 2. So it must be 3 and negative 1, because when you multiply this, you will arrive at negative 3, and when you add, you'll get positive 2. Once we have the factors, we're going to replace the center with the 3 and negative 1. So we're going to have x squared plus 3x minus, you can have 1x or x, minus x, minus 3. Then we group. The first bracket, what can I factor out? I can factor out an x, and I'm left with x plus 3. The next bracket, I can factor out negative 1, and I'm left with x plus 3. So it means I have x minus 1, x, x plus 3. 3, and the one that we use to divide is x plus 2. And that is how we factorize a polynomial. Here we have another polynomial 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x plus 1. So we're going to have x plus 1 equal 0. So x is equal to negative 1. 
Then we are going to go ahead and divide using the synthetic method. So we have the negative one on the outer end. Then we have the coefficient of x cubed, which is two, the coefficient of x squared, which is five, the coefficient of x, which is one, and the constant, which is negative two. So our next step is to carry down the two. Then say two times negative one, negative two. Then we add five plus negative two, that's three. Three times negative one, that's negative three. One plus negative three, that's negative two. Negative two times negative one, that's positive two. And when we add, we're going to get zero. So it means I have the quotient, which is two x squared plus 3x minus 2. Now remember, you always have to have the remainder to be 0 if I'm factorizing a polynomial. So when you're factorizing a polynomial, you divide, then you arrive at a quadratic, which you have to factorize. Now looking at this, we have 2 on the outer end and a negative 2. So we multiply 2 times negative 2 to give me negative four. So we need two numbers that multiply to give me negative four, but add to give me positive three. So it has to be positive four and negative one. Rewriting this, we're gonna have two x squared plus four x minus 1x minus 2, then we group. In the first bracket, we can factor out 2x, and we're left with x plus 2. In the second bracket, we can factor out negative 1, and we're left with x plus 2. So we have 2x minus 1, so group the outer end. So we have 2x minus 1 and x plus 2. And the one that we use to divide is x plus 1. And that's how we factorize the cubic function.